go over here head to the streets of Indiana here, guys. We got the you got the Pacers here, man. The young running and gunning Pacers getting three and a half points at the house. You got the Heat here laying three and a half on the road. Uh, Heat land minus 160 on the money line here. If you'd like to take the underdog, you can get back plus 140. We have a total of 227 in this one, Josh. Um, what, how you how you looking at this game, my brother? Yeah, it ticked up a little bit from yesterday's 226, but I still like the over on this game. I think that this is just going to be played in Indiana's fashion in the same way that they play most of their games, which is just run, run, run. And, you know, they're going to concede points because they don't care really about defense. They just try and outscore you. And I think that they're going to have no issue scoring against the Miami team, who I've said on this show many times. I don't rate them particularly highly, and I don't think their defense is very good this season, plain and simple. Uh, you know, their backcourt duo give them a lot in terms of scoring, but unfortunately they don't provide much defensively and they just don't have the cover behind them uh, to facilitate that either. So I think the Pacers, yeah, they're going to push tempo and I think they're going to be successful in being able to get to their spots and score with a lot of consistency here. No Jimmy Butler, I think, might help in terms of pace of this game offensively. You know, Miami's just going to try and push tempo themselves, find the open man on the perimeter and let it fly. And if, you know, shots are dropping, then this thing is going to absolutely soar over that number, in my opinion. Uh, so I, I absolutely love this total, um, regardless, I think, of the Bam Adebayo status. Uh, I wouldn't mind him being in. But again, if he's out, I think it's just one of those things where Miami seems to play a little bit quicker once again. And especially on the road and especially against teams that try and push pace, they're not exactly going to try and wrestle that away from them either, especially not this season. So uh, I love the total here. I love the overs. I just don't see a world where we don't get points unless we get both teams shooting absolute bricks, which I don't think is going to be the case. Uh, given the way that they match up with each other here. So if Miami's perimeter game is falling, um, like I said, then that's all we really need here. And I think Indiana's going to be able to get to their spots both inside and outside uh, and have success against a defense that I really think is below average at the moment. And I don't see a path for them necessarily getting back to the level that they were last season or that some people expect will still come from them. Yeah, that's some good points there, man. I can tell you this. I'm here to tell you, man. Any team with Buddy Hield on it will always be a great over team. I can tell you that, man. He's, he's never seen a shot he doesn't like. He'll shoot 23s, man. And sometimes, some days he can make a lot of them. But regardless, he he's gonna step back behind that line, Alex, and shoot those threes, man. But you got some really good guards over there, Benedict Matherin, uh, who should be starting by now. Tyrese Halliburton, man, is somewhat free. Tyrese Halley, man, please, my guys. But uh, Alex, uh, what do you think here? I mean, I couldn't talk Josh out of an over any pace. Pacers game could be a good over spot, even without Jimmy Buller here. What do you think? Yeah, I'm just going to wait till the Bam Adebayo news and, and probably join Josh on this over here. If Bam Adebayo's out, great. Give me some more over. If Bam Adebayo's in, I'll just wait for the number to tick down a point or two and then take it anyway. Um, Josh hit all the nails on the head here. The Pacers, as their namesake would lead you to believe, love to run this year. It's fun. Rick Carlisle cares about coaching basketball again. He's doing good stuff. He's letting a rookie play. I mean, Come on, Jay. You know that's why he's not starting. Carl Carl Rick Carlisle, as the student of Larry Brown, is not letting a rookie in the starting five. No, you got to earn that shit. But uh, the Pacers <laughs> have been it. really good. I enjoy them. Um, this Miami team, again, Josh and I were kind of on the level with this before the season. We don't think much of this team. There is some scores here. The de defense is nowhere near what it once was. Jimmy Butler is like the anti-Carl Anthony Towns. You know, if Carl Anthony Towns is in, give me the over. If he's out, give me the under. Butler, if he's in, give me the under. If he's out, give me the over. It, it just works almost every single time. So a lot of stuff moving towards the over here. I'm just going to wait and see how things shake out, and then eventually I'll join Josh here. Yeah, no, he'd have plenty of shooters over there to keep it hot as well. Could definitely see this being a three-point barrage here, man. Uh, Gabe Vincent, you got Max Struess, Tyler Hero as well. Um, and I did see if Adebayo is out, I did see uh, Deadman pop up on the injury report as well. So could possibly be without um, both of their centers there. I'd be interested to see because I believe Yurt Seven is still out as well. I'm not it's sure who it is. minutes. Stop it. Settle down with that. Oh, give me unders. Uh, what the props look like. <laughs> they would probably wouldn't even throw out you done as hot. <laughs> He's it. There's no other big man left on the roster. I don't know who Haywood Highsmith is. Maybe Haywood Highsmith is a big man, but Jovic is out. Your seven is out. Bam out of bio might be out. If Deadman's out, Haslam, that's it. That's funny, man. I, I thought I saw good. something about Adebayo went good. through shoot around. I think okay, I saw good. something about Adebayo went through shoot around, but you never know, man. Today's NBA, uh, a lot of these games, uh, especially with a lot of the question marks, you might have to wait five minutes before tip. That's what I'd recommend, my guys. But.